I speak to you for a second? Yes, you can. Uh, what are you doing out here today? I'm um, just coming out to show my support uh, for Gaza. What's going on in Gaza? Um, well, they've been bombing us with rockets for the past seven days. We have about 400 people that have died. Uh, what people don't seem to understand is that, you know, we didn't bomb them first. They've been uh, surrounding us for over six months now. What kind of army does uh, the Palestinians have? They don't really have an army. <laughs> what kind of navy do they have? They don't have one. Uh, uh, what kind of air force do they have? None. Uh, I mean, we don't have so, the U.S. supporting us, so there's not really much that we have. Uh, so how are the Palestinians to defend themselves against any enemy? Uh, throwing rocks. Oh. oh. suicide bombers has it been in the last six months? Honestly, I don't know the exact number. I don't want to tell you a number I think, and be wrong. Uh, I, I recall uh, the number zero. Yeah. Since the ceasefire that they achieved with Hamas like six months ago, and there has been zero suicide bombers. Yeah. So if you say zero, yeah, there's zero. You know, and how many Israelis have died uh, in the last six months from these uh, a rocket think attacks? about two, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yes, I think you're you're absolutely right. Yeah, so two to four hundred. And I think it's four now, but uh, those other two are Arab uh, Israelis. Were you okay. aware of that? No, no, I wasn't aware of that. Mm, yeah. yeah. And I think uh, one of the the uh, the Israelis that died during that time was uh, a guy that, that they didn't hit his house, but he died of a heart attack. So. Uh, okay. You know. Yeah. Two versus 400, so it's not really uh, justified at all. That's right. Yeah. So why are all these people out here? Uh, it's basically show their support. I mean, it's the least that we can do to uh, let people know what's going on back home. So what? I mean, what can we do other than just getting out here and holding signs up and? Uh, I mean. Um, I mean, well, I guess why, right why aren't the American people out here in arms? you know, in locked arms with us. Well, I think the American people don't really know what's going on. Uh, the Whose media's, fault is that? The media is so biased, they don't really show our side of the story. I think if they showed both sides, the American people would realize uh, exactly what is going on and maybe form their own opinion and stand out here with us today. So, uh, what, what do you think is going to happen? I mean, our president-elect. I, I don't think the president-elect will do much. I think it's Israel that needs to stop. Well, but what about uh, the media here in this country? I mean... Well, yeah, the media here needs to show both sides of the story. And uh, but they don't do that. So, I mean, I don't really know what we can do. Well, thank you for... Thank uh, you. Uh, sharing the information with me. Thank you. I, actually, I think that's what we have to do is uh, let these people out here that are uninformed, we need to inform them. Yeah. That, that, that's about all we can do. Yeah. Motivate them to do something with their congressmen and senators and the media. Exactly. I mean, if we write letters, I don't know what good it does, but... You know, Every little bit helps. Yeah, I mean, I think more than anything, we feel better by at least doing something. Exactly. And other Americans should be out here, too, doing something, standing up for uh, uh, these, uh, the victims, the true victims of this conflict that's been going on for 60 years.